Good morning, good morning, good morning. My name is Brother Leroy Pierce in the Greater St. Paul AME Church, where our pastor is Dr. Reverend Toby H. Fuller. And this morning, I'll be coming at you with our primary Sunday school lesson. Primary Sunday school lesson, lesson 13, November the 28th, 2021. We give God glory, praise, and honor for another day's journey. We give God praise, glory, and honor for another opportunity that I sit here to present God's word to you all. So as we look at this topic of the day, including everyone, and our lesson scriptures, Act 10, 34 through 47. And our key verse is, Peter began to speak. I now realize how true it is that God does not show favoritism, but accept, accept from every nation the one who fears him and does what is right. Does what is right. So we thank God for not showing favoritism. We thank God for including everyone into his plan. He didn't blot nobody. We blot ourselves out. So as young people understanding that, Continue to keep your mind on Jesus. Continue to do what does says the Lord. Continue to walk in a way that is pleasing to God. There's so much pure, pure shot you on y'all right now. But we continue to pray that y'all will continue to seek God's faith. Turn away from the wicked ways of this world. Because the world is corrupt. But we know a God that is able to do all things but fail. As we prepare to give into this lesson, let's open in a word of prayer. Lord, we thank you, we praise, and we glorify you for our children. Lord God, we ask right now that you would touch each and every one of them, Father God. Touch their mind, touch their heart, Father God. Oh, yes, Lord, move in their life like only you can. Father God, send God-fearing people within their life, Father God, to let them know how great thou art, Father God. Let them know that they are included in your plan, Father God. Let them know, Father God, that they can come to you, Father God, knowing that you will hear their humble cry. Father, we thank you this morning. Morning, Father God, for just being God Almighty. Father God, we ask that you cultivate the hearts and the minds of your people, Father God, that your word will fall on good fertile ground and that they will go out and tell somebody about you, Jesus. Or oh, tell them that they're not alone, Father God, that you are able to save them, that you are able to deliver them. Lord, I thank you this morning for our youth, Father God. They are our generation. These are heirs of Abraham. Touch right now, Father God. Touch right now. In the mighty way, we ask these blessings in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, and amen. Including everyone. And we're coming from Acts. When we're looking at two different generations, we're looking at the Jews and the Gentiles, which in the Old Testament, the New Testament too, they was not to communicate with the one another because they was totally different. And this is today in this old world here, we're looking at racism still yet. Want to divide God's world. Want to divide in God's church, even though we're all the same race, but we still want to divide. So we have to be able to overcome the thing that we see, knowing and see God in everything that we do. In today's scripture verse, Peter would tell that God accepts everyone who fears him and did what was right. What was right? Did you see that young lady, a man standing by himself? Did you went to and talk to him and say, is everything all right? I see you isolated. So you all right? Speak with him. Talk with him. Because we never know what, what fight they are fighting within themselves. Talk with him. He spoke of the people of Israel who had peace with God through Jesus Christ. He spoke of everything that happened after John the Baptist began preaching. Peter spoke about how God anointed Jesus with the power and with the Holy Spirit. The apostle witnessed all Jesus did throughout the Israel and in Jer Jerusalem. They witnessed his crucifixion and God raised him to live on the third day. They ate and drank with him after his resurrection. Jesus ordered them to preach everywhere. They testified that Jesus was set aside by God to be the judge of all that Jesus was the one spoken of by the prophet. As Peter was spoke, speaking, the Holy Spirit came upon everyone who heard the message. The Jewish believers were amazed that the gift of the Holy Spirit came to the Gentile too. 
Peter asked if anyone was against the baptism of Gentiles. Then he ordered for them to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. No one was excluded for receiving the Holy Spirit, no matter what nationality, no matter what. God has planned for us all. All we have to do is accept him as our Lord and Savior. Understanding when I was asking if you see one of your friends, you're not even your friend or student, one of your peers, isolated, speak with him. I was in a store and standing in line, getting ready to check out. Young man was standing in front of me, so I spoke to him. Hey, how you doing? And it was like startling to him because I spoke to him, and I spoke to him in a nice amount of a way. And he, he said, hey, I'm doing all right. How are you? I'm doing great. And just to see his, his reaction to me speaking to him and talking to him, it threw him for a loop, I guess. Because we have to show love to everyone. And when he got through paying for his stuff and walking, he said, man, you have a great day. I said, you have an awesome day. We never know who needs that, that, just that word of comfort. Who, we never know who needs this to be spoken to. So we have to come out ourselves and do what does says the Lord. The good news, the bad, and the ugly. This Chris family had moved, so he heard, had to go to a new school. Chris was worried because he did not know anyone at his new school. He had visited the school with his parents, but he did not get to meet any of the students. At breakfast on the first day at his new school, Chris was very quiet. His father noticed this and decided to speak with him and try to ease his mind. You awful quiet this morning, his father said. Aren't you excited about your new school? Not really, Chris replied. I don't know anyone there. Suppose they don't like me, and I can't make any new friends. I miss my old friends and my old school. I just wish that we hadn't moved. Hold on, his father began. I think that you are getting ahead of yourself. Why don't you just take in the new day at the new school and wait and see? Wait and see. Chris did just that. And at the end of the day, Chris's father was waiting to hear the report of the day. I had a great day, Chris reported. I love my new school. Everyone was so welcoming. Understanding what Chris being a new environment. Not knowing what to expect. Not knowing how things was going to go. But his father insured him. This is our Heavenly Father insures us that everything's going to be all right. This is our Heavenly Father continue to talk to us and nurse us. Let us know walk ye this way. Continue to do what does says the Lord. Continue to live a life that is pleasing to God. Continue to do that like I was saying earlier. You see one of your peers standing off to the south. Go and talk to him. Ask is everything all right. We are so into our own world till we forget to really truly live, really and truly speak to people, talk to people. Exploring the story in Ruth Lab. Hello everyone, Ruth here. We all know what it feels like to be unsure of ourselves, whether we are at a new school or a new screen activity. We know what it feels like to be the new kid. Sometimes we get so caught up in our world that we don't see the good things about our new situation. What are some things that we can do to help ease our worry? After we wasted our time worrying, we finally realized that our new situation is not so bad. When we look back and realize that we didn't need to worry at all because God had us all the time. God's hand was upon us all the time. So quit worrying about things that we have no control. Turn it over to God and allow God to manifest Himself within that situation. Children, God is calling you. You are our next generation. You will, we will be handing over the torch to you all. So I need each one of you all to seek God. Say, so Lord, come into my life and save me. Change me. I want to live for you. I want to do what does say you, O oh Lord. Guide me like only you can. 
I thank y'all for allowing me to come into your home once again on this Sunday morning to present to you all our church school for children. Oh, we thank God for our children. We thank God for allowing me to present this lesson, knowing that everyone is included in God's plan. All we have to do is seek him and say, God, come into our life and show us your plan that you have for our life. Direct me that I will live according to your will and your way. Be blessed. Be encouraged. Love y'all until we meet again.